Hello everybody, I'm Aichu Face, and welcome to a little post-commentary of a battle I recorded early this morning. And the reason it's post-commentary is because I didn't want to wake everybody up since it was so early. So um, here I'm showcasing the 100% best method to take care of opposing Himbers. If you do not want to use multiple starters of your own. You know, um, Himber is a very bulky thing and it sets up Icicle Trap, which is annoying to your team. So everybody's just like, how, how, how do you take down this behemoth? And I'm just like, uh, here you go, sir. Here's the best method. So here we have probably the best Lumina in the game, Kunacopia. Uh, but they lead Duskit. I was hoping they'd lead Himber because the strategy best you know, it works best if they lead Himber. But they don't. They lead Duskit. So um, here I decide, well, I'm not going to take any damage because, you know, you know, you have to preserve the best strategy. So I decided to go to Umbrat because um, it's going to take absolutely nothing from Duskit because um, it resists both of its stabs and um, it doesn't really care even if Duskit sets up a little bit. And that it does. It sets up peace of mind, gets its special or ranged attack and ranged defense. But um, I'm Duskit, I don't care, so I, I didn't want to take recoil here, but click Gloom Fangs. But um, obviously they didn't want to take damage either because here they end up switching out. And they go into their Zulong, so if I would have clicked Raging Tackle we would have been good. If it didn't die I would have clicked Quick, quick Pounce, but then I miss. So I'm just like, oh that that's unfortunate. So um, this time I go for the Raging Tackle because um, damage. Um, and Zulong can't kill Umbrat in any one hit, so it doesn't matter what it does. So it goes for the Thunder Strike, it does about half, and then it paralyzes me. But I break out of the para- you know, I, I, I break through, and I take him out, and now I'm down to little to no health, so now Duskit can come back in and actually kill me. But I'm not just going to allow it to do that for free. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, I, I've decided that uh, I still have Florent to deal with Duskit, so I'm just gonna quick pounce here, get rid of it, or, or you know, get some damage on it, and then it, you know, finishes off the Umbrat. But Umbrat got rid of Zulong, so um, that's that's a win. So I go into the floor, and it's holding the Drain Orb because um, it has a lot of draining moves. It is hidden ability, but the hidden ability doesn't work right now. If it did, I'd be recovering even more HP. Uh, which is also a reason that the damage calculator is actually not updated with the Drain Orb. I don't want to do it until drainage is fixed, so that I can appropriately calculate how it stacks, and then put in the damage count. So I go for the Sat Plant here. They set up, and then they go for the plus one spectral burst. It does about a third of my health. So, um, and then I parasitize, and I, I one shot. That's fun. So, um, Florent can pretty handily deal with Duskit. And um, I also went to Florent because I was hoping to bait in the Yeti, because I'm quad weak to it. And um, fun fact, spoiler alert: he goes right into the he goes into the Yeti. He, woo, yay me! So, um. Both special threats are down, besides Luminami, but you know, who cares. Uh, I don't know if he had a full team 7, but he has a Luminami, he brings it. But um, I go for the Sat Plant because I'm done with the Floor Ant, and you know, might as well. I don't, you don't need the Sat Plant for this strategy to work, but you know, might as well. So he just goes it goes ahead and finishes me off with the Chili Chomp, that's fine and all, so I, I, we can now initiate the best strategy in the game. The hidden ability, robust, 200 HP, 200 defense, heavy armor, Kunakopi. The best Lumion in the game. And I click Pestilence, which is also known as the I win button. See, he goes for the Chill Chomp and then he misses because luck, yay, go me. But I didn't really need it to miss because I had the Sat Plant, so it doesn't really matter. So now he's trapped, he cannot escape, and he's taking an eighth of his health from Sap Plant and an eighth of his health from Pestilence. Again, you don't need the um, Pestilence, f or you don't need the Sap Plant for this to work. Because you also, oh wait, oh well, I'll get to that in a bit, but um, here I'm just taking a screenshot because, you know, I gotta, I gotta show it to the boys, boys back home. So, um, once I, well, we're, we're gonna get back into this, maybe, eventually. Okay, we're good. And then I go for the life drain because anything he does to me will be recovered by this um by this life drain. Well, not fully, but you know, if you were to go for chili chomp, it wouldn't have been full. But 
He went for the quick punch for whatever reason, maybe because he didn't want to miss, but I fully recovered with the life drain. Also, this Kunicopia has a 100 special attack investment, just so that life drain does more damage. So now, I see he's going to die this turn, so I considered dodging just to avoid damage altogether. But I decided to rest to get the energy back up to full, because he can't kill me in any one hit. And so I was like, okay, okay, we're good, he's going to die. And then, he crits me. I was resting, and then he crit me. But he still died, I still won that. But um, he crit me through rest. And if you don't know, crits disregard stat boost, so the defense boost for my defensive priority was ignored. And since I was resting, it's assuming that the game is essentially saying that I'm at minus one defense for the turn, so that's why I took almost all of my health. If I didn't have the heavy armor, I would have died. But um, here I just go for the life drain. I think I did, but it doesn't matter because it outspeeds me and it's going to um, sleet shot. Uh, I prefer not to run sleet shot on my Luminami, but to each their own. So here I'm like, oh shoot, both my mo uh, both, uh, both my remaining Lumians are weak to Luminami. Oh wait, Seer Knight is actually really strong against Luminami. And uh, here we go. I click the Searing Steel, which if you don't know disregards the resistance to water and is super effective against the light typing Luminami has so I nearly you know I do a solid 80% of its health and then it doesn't even do half I'm sorry who's get again good against who so I click the searing steel again you know just to get the knockout and uh, I believe he switches to Falkyrie his last one yes he does and at this point I'm like okay I won the game Boraka speeds them both. Sorry, I'm yawning. It's always the battlefield videos that get me yawning. Like that whole two hour analysis of the pre PvP thoughts. Yeah, that, that was fun. I didn't yawn once. But as soon as I turn on the camera for battles, the yawns come up. But I switched to Borok. I really didn't need to, but I did. And the Gamut Pulse doesn't do half. The Borok has a heavy shield to, uh, so that, um,. It better answers Zulong. It doesn't get two shot by um, the ancient or the elemental burst. So there we go. Um, so I go for the Muckbuck here, and yeah, there he goes. He's dead. Uh, the Falkyrie's gone. The Luminami's at low health, so I'll just defeat you know I'll feign it in one hit or from where it's at, and that'll be that. But yeah, Kunicopia is the answer he's been looking for. If you see a Himber. Nine times, you know, most of the time they'll lead with it. I've had I had a few other successes with it before I recorded this one, just to make sure it actually worked, because it worked in my damage calc. So I was like, okay, but now now I know I knew for sure it worked. So anyway, Kunicopia is the answer to all of your problems. See you.